Today we're looking at the Kaiweets KM601 Smart Multimeter. It's currently available on their website for $34.89 and there's a link below in the description. In the box you get the meter in a case with accessories and an instruction manual. Inside the storage case is the meter, the sets of leads and also coming with the meter are two sets of batteries. The standard leads are 4mm probe type and you can remove a section at the end of the probe to get a longer nib length. The supplied leads have right angle plugs and they have protective end caps. When you turn on the meter, depending on settings, it will indicate which socket to use or plug the leads into, which is a nice touch. The plugs fit nicely and there's no wiggle. Just remember to plug in with the cable coming upwards as there's no stand, so if you plug them in pointing downwards, you'll put unnecessary pressure on the sockets. You also get a temperature probe sensor lead, and this doesn't seem to be as well made as the standard leads, but is a nice addition. The cable is more rigid and certainly a lot thinner than the stock leads. You can buy lead accessory packs from Kaiweets. They have plenty to choose from, but because they use 4mm plug-ins, you can buy any leads from other accessories that use the same 4mm plugs. The user manual is well written and guides you through using the meter and each of its functions. However, there is a certain level of assumption that you will know what each function is for and ensure that you use the meter safely and don't electrocute yourself. Mains electricity is dangerous, so ensure you consult a professional if you're not sure what you're doing. There is a protective plastic case covering the meter and on the back is an LED torch. The top has the non-contact voltage sensor and the power button. The side has the auto power off toggle switch and the other side has the torch button on off. The unit is fused and these fuse ratings are noted on the back of the meter if you need to replace fuses. The protective case is fairly rigid and thin. It will afford some protection but not a large amount of impact protection if dropped. It's a nice addition to keep the unit clean if nothing else but bear in mind that it is more plastic than rubber so it doesn't, as I say, come with a lot of impact protection. Holding the power button on for a few seconds to power on, and as you can see, the screen is large and very bright, and it can be easily viewed from all angles. When the unit starts, it starts in auto mode and cycles between the three. Pressing the auto power off button cycles the mode, and you have the yellow power button indication on the screen to show you if it's on or off. The LED torch by modern standards is not very bright. It will possibly get you out of a fix if needed, but doesn't have a high output of light, so bear that in mind. The lead sockets are well made and hold the leads tightly. Each mode indicates which sockets to use when you turn the unit on or cycle between the modes, which is helpful for those who aren't sure. Pressing the central mode button cycles from auto when you first switch it on and will continually cycle through each mode there is. There is AC-DC voltage, resistance, continuity, diode test, capacitance, AC-DC millivolt, frequency and duty, non-contact voltage detection, amps up to 10 amps and milliamps to 600 milliamps. The meter will power off after 15 minutes of inactivity if auto power off is switched on. The volume level of the beep on the unit is not very loud and there is no headphone socket so contractors may find that a bit of a hindrance if they're using it on noisy sites or workplaces. I had no issues with the accuracy of the meter and it measured the same as my old fluke meter so this meter will probably retire that fluke meter. Temperature is shown in Fahrenheit and Celsius and the sensor and unit reach quickly to read the temperature levels and then slowly drops when you remove it from the heat source or the cold. If the temperature sensor isn't plugged in, the meter will read the ambient room temperature. The non-contact voltage sensor worked on mains and even a 5 volt USB cable very well to show you had a hot voltage lead. This however is the first time I've had a meter with this function so I don't have anything to compare that function to. Something that is a shame is that the manual will not fit inside the case even when folding it. 
Kiwit, perhaps you could reduce the size a little to allow it to fit in the case. So pros for this meter are, it has a delicious display. It's bright, clear, big and viewable from pretty much any angle. It comes with pretty much everything you'll need to get going and covers most type of test you'll need for this meter. It has a four millimeter jack plug port size so you can use any other manufacturer's lead packs. The buttons are large and tactile. The unit tells you which ports to connect to when you switch to particular modes by lighting green when you select them. It has a three year warranty but make sure you retain your proof of purchase as it's needed if you need to make a claim against that. And they have a UK distributor, Amazon store and social media presence, so they're here to stay. Cons would be the LED on the rear is a bit useless by today's standards. The plastic case is not very thick and is not rubber and it doesn't have a stand. And the beep volume is quite low in noisy environments and because it doesn't have an earphone jack that could be a problem for contractors. What you get in the box and the range of features though, it's a good deal in my opinion. And this unit is probably going to retire my old fluke tester. On site, contractors might find a lack of adjustable beep volume annoying, but most of the rest of us will be very happy with this unit. There are cheaper meters, in fact a lot cheaper, but they won't have the features of this one more than likely. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.